Pennsylvania's newly released grand jury report on clerical sexual abuse focused on only six of the eight Catholic dioceses in the state. Still, jurors' allegations that senior church officials covered up sex abuse has sent shockwaves through Catholic communities across the country. The report, published Tuesday, unearthed graphic stories of boys and girls assaulted and raped by Catholic priests in the dioceses of Allentown, Erie, Greensburg, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh and Scranton. The grand jury identified 301 predator priests and more than 1,000 sexual abuse victims over the past 70 years. Jurors said that in many cases, senior church officials knew that these abuses were occurring yet worked to dismiss victims' claims and protect the priests. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops promised on Thursday to make it easier for Catholics to report misconduct by bishops and to have those complaints resolved. The USCCB also pledged to ask the Vatican to investigate accusations swirling around former Cardinal Archbishop Theodore McCarrick, a high-ranking cleric who has been accused of sexually abusing boys and adult seminarians. The proposals will be presented to the full body of bishops during a November meeting. Cardinal Daniel N. Dinardo, the USCCB's president, called the failure of bishops on the issue of child sexual abuse a moral catastrophe. I have no illusions about the degree to which trust in the bishops has been damaged by these past sins and failures, he wrote in a statement. It will take work to rebuild that trust. The Vatican also issued a statement Thursday, saying, there should be accountability for both abusers and those who permitted abuse to occur. Daniel N. Dinardo left at the Vatican in 2007, when he was made a cardinal. Now the president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, he called the failure of bishops on the issue of child sexual abuse a moral catastrophe. As the church debates its next steps, American Catholics took to social media this week to express their horror over the detailed accusations in the report. These Catholics are not only outraged, they are also demanding swift and concrete change. Some called for all U.S. bishops to follow the example of Chile's bishops and offer Pope Francis their resignations. Others wanted to see similar grand jury investigations taken up by other U.S. states. According to bishopaccountability.org, which keeps track of sexual abuse cases, there have been just nine investigations by prosecutors or grand juries of American Catholic dioceses or archdioceses. Others wanted all Catholic dioceses to voluntarily release lists of all current and former priests who have been credibly accused of sexual abuse. The Associated Press reports that only about 40 of America's nearly 200 Catholic dioceses have released lists with the names of accused priests, although the outpouring of anger may seem to be tearing the church apart. The Rev. James Martin, an editor-at-large of the Jesuit magazine America, said he believes that it is good, healthy and clarifying. In a New York Times op-ed, he encouraged Catholics to speak to their pastors and bishops and express their anger to the Vatican's representatives. Listen to your anger. Let it inform you, Martin wrote. Let it move you to act in whatever way you think will most protect children and root out the clerical rot that gave rise to these crimes. Read on to see how some American Catholics are grappling with the Pennsylvania Abuse Report. I'm Catholic, albeit, a flawed one. Yes, every state ag should follow Pennsylvania's example and conduct a thorough investigation into sexual predator priests. The Church should fully cooperate. The victims deserve justice. The perpetrators deserve punishment. We need real mechanisms to hold bishops accountable, lay leadership, and transparency. Outrage is not enough, John Gehring, at Gehring, D.C., August 14, 2018, 275 is the number of bishops and cardinals in active, non-retired ministry in the United States. 275 is the number of resignations that Pope Francis should find on his desk tomorrow. Do not wait, follow Chile. The people of God demand it. Susan Reynolds, at Susan Reynolds 1, August 14, 2018 This is why voluntary release of names of abusive clergy is so important. That's not to say no more grad juries will be convened, but they are far less likely if bishops are simply forthright sooner than later.
https colon slash slash t dot co slash photoclo 7 tayu dan kasaki at takasachi august 15 2018 at the very least having all the cardinals renounce their titles and privileges and take on some symbolic gesture of repentance in every state prostration etc that would go a long way https colon slash slash t dot co slash i7 nsz7 row kevin ahern at kevin underscore ahern august 16 2018 given the pa ag report and that's something similar likely occurred in every other state, I don't see how we as a church move forward without massive resignations. And by move forward, I mean care for the victims and show sinful abuse of authority has no place in the church. Michael Rosier, at Rosier, August 16, 2018 Dear at USCCB, more resignations and handing over to the police, less vague and empty statements of regret. Zach Davis, at Zach Davis, August 14, 2018 The church is now on the edge. How this is handled will determine its future. There has to be open, willing and courageous conversation about the church's poor relationship with human sexuality which is the systemic problem. We have to face up before it all is destroyed, Russell Paulette, Adder Paulettes, August 16, 2018 Every current U.S. bishop, every single one should make a public statement both filmed. This is no longer an option. This is a necessity, Katie Prejean McGrady, at Katie Prejean, August 14, 2018 27, top to bottom, spirit-led reform guided by a combination of clergy, religious, lay leaders, theologians, and outside voices is the only step that will move us forward as a church. Anything else is giving aspirin to a cancer patient, Michael Baer, at Empire 1248, August 16, 2018 Dear at USCCB, this is my son. We will baptize him a Catholic. For his sake, repent and reform. Now. Pick that twitter.com slash e6jdr2kd3g, Jane Sloan Peters, at Janice Sloan Peters, August 15, 2018 As a Catholic, as a father, I want to know the concrete steps my diocese and other dioceses have taken to ensure that this doesn't happen again. With so many bishops implicated by this and other scandals, what reassurances do we have? Greg Hillis, at Gregory Killis, August 14, 2018 The church's institutions have been reformed and reformed again. It's time for us, especially those of us who are too young to do anything in 2002, to step up and push for reform again until we rid the church of this evil. And, Colleen Dull, at Colleen Joel, August 16, 2018 For right now we are not conservative Catholics or liberal Catholics, we are all just really, really, really angry Catholics, Kava Oaks, at K Oaks, August 15, 2018 Download Photo Gallery Pope Francis's Best Quotes